Good afternoon everyone, Jeannie here and welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna be doing a what's for dinner video. So I'm gonna be sharing with you guys what I have made for dinner this past week on a keto low carb lifestyle. And today is actually a collaboration video with one of my best friends, Nicole Burgess. So she's going to be sharing with you guys what she made her family for dinner this week. And I want you guys to go ahead and check out her channel. I'm sure if you're subscribed to me, you're probably already subscribed to her. So go ahead and show her some love and let's go ahead and get into the video. Open face sloppy joes. So for this recipe, you're going to need ground beef, uh, minced garlic, uh, green bell pepper, small onion, eight ounces of tomato paste. I don't have that, so it might taste a little off because I don't have it. Uh, a cup of beef broth, two tablespoons of brown sugar, Worcester sauce, yellow mustard, parsley leaves, and you can um, dish it with, and you can dish it with the um, spaghetti squash. I do not, I don't have any um, tomato paste, but I do have some tomato sauce, and this is the Rayo. So I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and add in the eight ounces of Rayo's um, tomato sauce to get that tomatoey flavor because that's, you know, the basis of Sloppy Joe's. So we can't skip on the tomato flavor because that's what makes a Sloppy Joe. So this might alter my macros just a little bit, but that's okay. So first step is to go ahead and brown your ground beef. I'm using ground Kobe beef and I zap this in the microwave for four minutes. Mine was frozen and that's just a little trick if you forget to take your meat out of the freezer like me. Next you want to add in half of a white onion. You want to add in some minced garlic and you also want to add in one small um, green bell pepper and then just go ahead and mix that in with your meat. So I'm actually going to serve my um, sloppy joe with a smart bun. So this is the sesame seed and I'm going to flip you guys around and share with you guys the macros on these guys. So it looks like the total carbs on here are... So this is a zero carb bun right here, but the um, what you need to make sure you do is you have to set it out um, because these are frozen, so they need to thaw out. So while my meat is cooking, I'm gonna make sure that that guy thaws out. And they are 63 calories also. And the fat content in here is three grams of fat. So this is a really good product, you guys. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and let that thaw out. Also got some of their Smart Muffins as well. I got the um, Banana Nut. I also have an Apple Cinnamon. And there's a chocolate chip also. So next you wanna go ahead and add a cup of beef broth to your mixture. So your next step is to add in your tomato paste or in my circumstance, I added in um, Rayo's uh, marinara sauce. And then you also wanna add in a cup of beef broth. And then you wanna go ahead and bring this to a simmer for 20 minutes to let the flavors blend together. So since I did use marinara sauce, I'm adding in a little bit of xanthan gum to go ahead and just thicken it up a little bit since I didn't actually have the paste. So the consistency is becoming a little runny. So I'm hoping that the xanthan gum, just adding a little bit to it, will go ahead and thicken up the mixture. So here is the final product. So I'm actually serving it open face style with the smart bun. So I put two buns out, but I think that I'll be good to go um, with just one serving. So um, just with one smart bun. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and put my other smart bun back in the freezer. And then I'll go ahead and use some of my macros for a little treat at the end of the night. But we do need to give the taste test. Just cause it looks good doesn't mean it's gonna taste good. This is really good, and I will mention this. I've tried the Smart Buns before, and having them on like a burger or a sandwich or um, just on its own, if you'd wanna have a bun on its own, they're really drying, but doing it open face style really adds moisture into the bun, so it's not super dry when you're eating it. Sorry about the dogs in the background. So tonight's dinner is breakfast for dinner, so I'm gonna be doing Nicole's um, McGriddles. So what you're going to need is one egg, one fourth tablespoon of heavy whipping cream. You want to go ahead and whip it up and then add it to your dash, um, griddle maker. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this link below. If you guys don't have one, they're like 10 bucks on Amazon. 
Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and add in my filling, which I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna do sausage, yeah. I'm gonna do sausage. So I think I'm gonna make two McGriddles up. So I'll have two breakfast sandwiches is what I'm thinking. the egg mixture should puff up just <laughs> flush me excuse me <laughs> um so the egg mixture should puff up just like this and this is going to be the bun to the mcgriddle right, so then i'm gonna go ahead and drizzle some sugar-free maple syrup on top to really get that like McGriddle taste. Um, so this is one carb for like a one fourth cup. Um, and I just love breakfast for dinner. Oftentimes tomorrow I'm going to be making this for breakfast as well. Um, but breakfast for dinner just sounded really, really good tonight. So this is what I am having tonight. And you might even be able to mix some of the maple syrup in with your egg mixture. And then it'll have that like infused taste. Or you can do some cheese and then put some hot sauce on this. Like you, there's so many different things that you can do with this um, McGriddle. So I cannot wait to give this a taste. But you guys, so my place, my, my place, my plate literally smells like pancakes. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a try and see what I think. I'm gonna get all the flavors in this. I think I needed to cook one of these a little bit more because I'm getting like liquid egg white coming out but overall <laughs> this is pretty dang good like it literally tastes like McDonald's but I'm at home. Tonight I'm craving pizza so we're gonna do keto pizza so I am doing the stuffed pizza peppers pizza stuffed peppers is what we are doing tonight so this recipe is really easy you just need um, some sausage you need some bell peppers, obviously. You need a cup of shredded mozzarella, pepperoni slices, some Italian sprinkling, and um, grated Parmesan cheese, and your marinara sauce. You only need a cup of it. I go in with the Rayo sauce, so um, super excited. So the first step is just to brown the meat um, and then stir in the marinara sauce. So you wanna go ahead and brown a pound of sausage and then add one cup of marinara sauce. I like the Rayo's sauce. It's low in net carbs and in my opinion, it tastes the best. Um, I used to use the Ragu Simply and this one tastes way better than that. So you wanna go ahead and divide your bell peppers and then you're gonna scoop in the sausage and pasta sauce mixture into the bell peppers. So next you wanna go ahead and sprinkle a cup of mozzarella cheese, just divide it among the um, bell peppers that you're making. I did half the recipe, um, so I only did half a cup of the cheese, but if you were doing the full recipe, it would be a whole cup of cheese, and then you can go ahead and add your toppings. I just added in pepperoni. And then you wanna cook for 25 minutes in a 375 degree oven. Oh my goodness, come to mama. Hey guys, so tonight's dinner, tonight's Friday by the way, we are doing some good old fashioned comfort food in the Schweppe house. So we are doing the Cajun sausage and rice from the Southern Keto Cookbook. So this is a super easy recipe and I just crave stuff like this. So after a really long run week, um, this is going to hit the spot literally. And a way that I am making this um, dish a non-keto for my husband, I have brown rice for him, but for me, I'm gonna be doing um, yeah. cauliflower rice. So that is how I am switching up his portion so that he can have 
uh, regular rice because he prefers that over the cauliflower rice. So that's what we're going to do. Tanner, you want to say hi? You say hi? This recipe is super easy. So you want to start off by adding two tablespoons of avocado oil to a pan. And then you want to go ahead and brown your sausages for about two to three minutes. Now, I made this dish a few weeks ago, and I added jalapenos and habanero peppers to mine because I love spicy stuff. Uh, but I'm not doing that this time because my husband was not a fan of the spiciness from last time. So we're not doing that. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and brown the sausage. And then once the sausage has been cooking for about two to three minutes, then you want to go ahead and add in your veggies. So there is some green bell peppers, celery, a onion, and I did two different bell peppers. So um, I'm treating myself tonight to a little bit more vegetables because I had a really heavy run week and I really just want to put some more, you know, veggies in my system for today. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm adding in more veggies. I'm digging through the glove box. I thought I had a map in here. The driver's door doesn't lock. I bought the car my junior year. There's candy in my backpack. And you can pick our soundtrack. We're heading for the East Coast tonight. So pack your bags and hold on tight. Cause we're taking off. Pack up here. Drag you in. Pack up here. In drag your back. Pack here. In. Can in back coast. Hold back there. In. Run away with me. We're on the way to New York City. Take my hand and see. Manhattan never looks so pretty. Travel light and see the world. And say hello to New York City. And say hello to New York City. And say hello to New York City. So your next step is to add in your broth and simmer for 10 minutes. Now I'm actually adding in two cups because I like this to be a little bit more soupy, kind of like a gumbo, if you will. Uh, so I like to have mine a little more soupy. And then you wanna go ahead and add in your cauliflower rice. I tweak this just a little bit and I don't actually add the cauliflower rice into the pot because uh, my husband likes brown rice more, so I do brown rice for him and cauliflower rice for me. So then I just go ahead and just microwave my cauliflower rice. Where is my cauliflower rice? So I go ahead and just microwave this, and then I will do a scoop of it in my bowl, um, and then add the mix. The then I'll go ahead and add the sausage and um, liquid and veggies to my bowl. So. That's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna start microwaving up the rice. You also wanna season this dish up too. So I'm using the Tony's Creole seasoning. So you wanna add this, and then I added in some Himalayan pink sea salt and some black pepper. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave the Smart Baking Company linked below. I found that their buns worked really well for the Sloppy Joes. I find that the buns tend to be a little bit drying on their own, but if you like do an open face type sandwich, um, like I did, I think that it works really well. So I don't like them on their own, but I do like them for open face style sandwiches. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you go ahead and check out Nicole's video, which I'll have her channel and video linked below. And I will talk to you guys all later. Bye guys.